And if you want to um, um, send logs from applications, then Prezi has, Prezi has uh, another plugin. And uh, Prezi <coughs> also offers uh, client libraries for many uh, programming <coughs> languages, uh, including PHP, Ruby, and Java, uh, uh, many languages. And once you put logs into Prezi, uh, <coughs> you can store these logs using uh, plugins. It means, uh, first, uh, you used MongoDB, but actually MongoDB does not scale well. <laughs> 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 so MongoDB is, is good for recent data. It's very um, uh, low latency and uh, easy to query, but not good for archiving. Then uh, you you can add plugin to store uh, to store uh, historical data to Amazon S2. This is the previous overview. So <laughs> there are three types of plugins. First one is input, and the second one is output, and another one is buffer, buffer plugins. So this handles some performance problem and reliability problems. And uh, next plugin, next major plugin will have filter plugin, which converts data. Uh, into another structure or uh, some aggregation. And another point is JSON. So in Frisbee, a log consists of three elements. One is time, uh, which, which means the time gen uh, uh, when the log generated. And the time means uh, what is that log. And this log, uh, this is actually used by the, the routing mechanism of Frisbee. So this tag goes to this data store, and this tag goes to this uh, data store. And <coughs> the body is JSON. So it means it, this is structure and, um, <coughs> and, and um, uh, program. So it means, uh, <coughs> so, so, if, um, so if you are reading Apache logs, and uh, you can know the error records, and then if Apache returns five stuff something, and then uh, we can uh, we, we want to get a lot from Frenzy, then you can write plugin uh, to read specific records and uh, specific fields. So it's uh, very useful to write plugins. And here, uh, here's an uh, actual example. So in this case, uh, Frenzy uses uh, uh, input plugin named Intel. Uh, this is like uh, uh, Linux tail dash f command. So it reads uh, data from uh, node file. So this this time, uh, this input plugin parses that data and converts it into JSON. And when they write logs into another data store. The point here is that when they first logs, uh, first store logs into local buffer. And if the destination is down, Frenzy keeps these logs on that storage. And if uh, when, when the destination server recovers, Frenzy automatically retries uh, re, re, re to store that. So <coughs> it's reliable. And Frenzy uh, manages the booting and the copying. So yeah, we can easily add. So here's an example configuration file. Um, this means the data source. This data source uses using uh, uh, tail plug to read Apache logs. And uh, this source means the, 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 the listen port to collect data from applications. <coughs> and then this match tags uh, is the data, the data store. At, that, at this time, uh, this Frenzy copies data into two storages. One is MongoDB and another one is S3. And the MongoDB plugin supports a tap collection, which means uh, MongoDB stores only recent data. So, actually, this is very typical case. S3 stores the whole archive of data, while MongoDB stores recent data. So, we can. So we can use, we can build this system using Frenzy very easily, and of course Frenzy supports log forwarding. Um, you might know um, uh, Flume Energy, which is created by uh, Cloudera and 
right now in Apache project. Uh, it has the same structure and the same topology. A Fluentd can send the log to another Fluentd and send uh, the, the destination server in ACK. And then for them into uh, one uh, log aggregation server. So, Fluentd is CCOD <coughs> plus many features, including plugin and JSON. So, um, there are already many plugins released. And uh, you can use uh, Ruby gems to search and install for the plugins. So this commands uh, uh, list of all plugins released on uh, Ruby gems org, and you can install uh, any plugin using Ruby gems command. And now there are 170 plugins released. And this list is on uh, Fluentd's website, and actually this is this list is sorted by the number of downloads. Mongolia is the most popular one, and Scribe is next, and Troy Data. Yeah. Actually, Troy Data. <laughs> so uh, I'm a founder of Troy Data. <laughs> and uh, Troy Data provides a uh, um, cloud-based data warehousing service. It means uh, we focus on the store and process uh, steps. So we provide them. OK, so <laughs> this is the last slide. We are hiring. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not a test. We are, if you are interested. Okay, thank you very much.